What's up everybody? Today we are reacting to the Destiny 2 Beyond Light Europa trailer. Let's go ahead and jump right into it because I am a huge fan of Destiny. I am so excited for this expansion and I can't wait to see what this new location is. I've been grinding out the moments of triumph, been having an absolute blast with the raids and the dungeons and all that, so I can't wait to see what the next chapter of Destiny is. Let's go ahead and react. What have you seen out there? Varix, yo, Look what's up? Beyond. The frozen wasteland. <laughs> oh man, that voice. Europa yes. is a place of many mysteries. Getting tangled shore vibes from it already. Do not lose your way. Wow. When can we, we play as Fallen? Come to this moon looking for answers. It looks so open, so icy. What do you hope to find here? Wow, dude, the scale of it's really awesome. What a great location. What lies underneath the ice? Under the ice. Europa has been home to darkness for some time now. What, <laughs> dude? Look at the deep stone crypt here. Uncover the truth. Its history could be the key to our fight. Help me unlock it. Wow, look at these vex platforms here. Wow, dude. Take down the Dark Empire. What a cool name. Dude. It's like an all-out war on Europa there. Dude. Look at all those Vex. Dude. That looks like a little, like one of the little pyramid ships there. In a Vex gate? Dude, what in the world? We gotta loop this. We gotta pause at all this stuff. There was a lot to take in there. I didn't even hear half the things she said because I was just oohing and on and giving my thoughts and reactions. But holy crap, let's react here. Let's go back through one more time. Have you seen um, that looks pretty dope. Just cool. And Varric's coming back. For those of you that don't know, he was big in uh, um, House of Wolves was the expansion. I think he was pretty big in, wasn't it? Like where he was first introduced. Just all the ice. And wait, are those... Uh, are those those look like those harpies look like the what is it the gorgons is that what they were called from vault of glass it's been a while since i've played vault of glass so pardon if i got that name wrong yeah man fallen imagery is just so well done but even this right here like going back like just the snowiness and like how dark it is and how big the icy plains seem to be some of these shots of the Fallen make me really think we're going to be able to play as Fallen soon. That just makes sense. Like, like an alliance between humans and the Fallen. Now, real quick, let's stop here. I think we've seen this gear, but it's looking pretty dope. It looks, once again, like like lots of Fallen-y sort of tech there, especially like in the, the helmets. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bray Exoscience. Okay. Man, cool logo too with the infinity sign. Yeah, and then like, I think, is this the Deep Stone Crypt here? Where they make the Exos? And then I saw this photo, which was the way I saw that this trailer was out. I saw this photo circulating where it's an Exo and a Vex. It's connected by some sort of machinery, which may give credence to the idea that Vex technology helped it either inspire the Exo creation or something like that. Lots of cool lore, I bet, with... Exo specifically, which is cool because I play as an Exo Titan. Epic strikes. Take down the Dark Empire. All these new ice moves, these new stasis moves. And that tank coming in. The secrets of Europa are now within our grasp. Wow. Holy crap, man. I feel like this is going to be like one of the best Destiny expansions that we've ever had. I'm just saying. I think just by even adding a new subclass, it's like the scale of it, like and the ambition of it, and all the little changes they're making are going to be really epic. The fact that they even had to delay it, you know. And then they do have a new website up, Europa Awaits, a desolate wasteland where every gust of frozen wind whispers long-lost secrets and further buries the mysteries beneath your feet. You arrive on the heels of a dark empire that grows in power, stand against the blizzard and press on, Guardian. Aramis must be stopped. What lies beneath the ice? 
A dark obelisk silently beckons you, watching from a barren clearing on the frozen moon. Those who came before you did not leave this place gracefully. The ruins of a once bustling cityscape tell a tale of ambition and loss. And somewhere beneath the centuries of ice, lost golden age technology awaits your steady grasp. Seek the truth wherever it lies. Which is giving me Mars vibes. Like, I loved when we went to Mars and we were unearthing the secrets of Rasputin. Was very cool, and now to have that with like the deep stone crypt and exo technology and Bray exo science is very cool. Mystery shrouded in darkness with the trailer that we saw. Oh wow! And in the map, the frozen frontier. So even tied ruins. What's this here? Once home to thousands of settlers, and now all that remains of Clovis Bray's colony. Um, Cadmus Ridge, a snowy landscape in the last known location of the buried Bray Exoscience Facility. Asturian Abyss, the Vex structures visible on the surface are only the tip of the iceberg. And then Sharon's Crossing. Wow, this is a really big place. The site of Europa's communication center and the origin of a distress signal sent by Varix. So he's the one, Varix is the one that actually brings us in. Interesting. And then beyond, an old friend awaits us in this clearing that overlooks the conflict between light and dark. And the old friend, I believe, would be the stranger. And then you have a few ways to order. You have the deluxe, the season, and then just standard um, expansions here, which I, you know I gotta be going with that deluxe. I gotta be getting my sparrow, and I gotta be getting my ornaments and ghosts and emblems and all of that. So I still gotta get on that um, on that pre-order. And then the collector's edition. Oh, and then the stranger edition is actually pretty cool too because it comes like with a digital code. And then the statue of the stranger, which I may have to go ahead and hop on that. I'm not too sure what I'm going to end up doing. But wow, was I off frame like the whole entire video? If I was, be sure to leave a like down below. And if I wasn't, also be sure to leave a like down below. It's kind of just leaning in my chair, I guess. And I think I was maybe off the screen the whole time. If I wasn't, I don't know. I wasn't watching the monitor over here. But thank you so much for watching. I really do love doing these Destiny reactions. I think I've done more Destiny reactions on my channel than any other piece of content. And so if you like that, be sure to subscribe. I also react to tons of other trailers, including like the PlayStation event this summer and the Xbox, Xbox event with the pricing and release and all the excitement for next generation gaming. So you can check out those on the channel. And then I do react to like Nintendo Directs. So I'm a huge Nintendo fanboy. And so there's lots of content here in the channel for you to check out for you to enjoy and also talk to me down in the comment section below i'd love to discuss all of the destiny hype with you but until next time bye